Welcome back everyone to our second in a series of Into Access videos going over new products as they are released. Today we're talking about BBC Bersh's new combination sensor for industrial doors, the Helios 2T. Now Becca, did you know that Helios is the Greek god of the sun and 2T stands for two technologies mm. referring to the microwave radar combined with the active infrared? I knew about the 2T but I did not know about Helios. You learn something new every day. He's sharing his caring. <laughs> <laughs> well, guess what? We happen to have the Helios 2T installed right here at Into Access. So instead of just talking about it, we can actually show the lovely people out there the sensor in action on our very own industrial door. Let's go over some of those benefits. Why would someone want Helios 2T for their industrial door? Good question, Farrell. There's the front of our building with the Helios 2T mounted at the top of the door. Mm -hmm. Well, this sensor is for you if you have an industrial door between 2 to 6 metres high and you want the benefits of both microwave radar to detect vehicles or people approaching the door, combined with an active infrared curtain for presence detection. Lots of products have one or the other, but few have both. Ooh, special effects. Clean me up, Scotty. <laughs> Here we have a visual representation of the double active infrared curtain that acts to keep the door open while people and vehicles are going through or back and forth unloading things. And there's the microwave radar cone that detects movement and can also be set to pre-detect vehicles approaching and activate an early warning signal on the other side of the door using Helios 2T's auxiliary output. That's right, so here we have Jack. Now you might remember him from our last video. Hi, Hi Jack! Jack. <laughs> yes, Jack is unloading a pallet with the forklift. As he approaches the pre-detection zone, the yellow beacon on the other side of the door flashes, warning nearby people that the door is about to open. Call me for details if you need a flashing beacon. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of the way, lads. <laughs> so the microwave radar sensor has cross-traffic masking, so it will detect when something is coming towards it versus just turning around or passing across, minimizing false activations. That's an important note to make, keeping the door closed when not needed and opened only for as long as needed. Saves energy and helps the environment. Yes, every little bit helps. Isn't that a Tesco slogan? Mm. I don't know. <laughs> Other supermarkets are available. <laughs> <laughs> so at this point, the active infrared curtains are working to make sure the door does not close while Jack goes back and forth, preventing the door from hitting him or the forklift. Now how long the door stays open depends on your control panel settings and whether the Helios 2T AIR sensor gives the all clear. Now that we've gone through the basic features of the Helios 2T, let's focus on the mobile app. Available for free on iOS and Android, it is one of the Helios 2T's best features, allowing you to fully program and get usage statistics right on your phone without the need to pay for a separate programming remote. There is a lot to this app. So first things first, open the app and once it detects the sensor, click on the sensor name and go to the main screen. Here you can see the general status settings, including operational status, where you can see operating hours, operating time, and whether any errors were recorded. Helpful for maintenance. We are going to focus on the area tab because this is really where the app shines. Setting up is easy. The important thing to know is that the shape and surface area of the microwave field is determined by two important factors. One, the mounting height, and two, the sensitivity settings. Remember, with cross-traffic masking, unless the vehicle is going straight towards the door, it won't open. When it comes to the active infrared settings, you can choose to have just one row of beams on or both. And the best part is the ability to program the width and configuration of the beams, depending on your specific setup. Here we have Darren using the app to test the actual detection zones. Once the audio and visual feedback is turned on in the app, you can physically walk around and test where the outer edges are of the pre-detection and the main detection zone. Not only will the app beep and show you when you are entering the zones, the LED light on the sensor will give you feedback as well, even during normal use. Yes, yeah, so solid green means nothing in the detection zone, 
Flashing orange means something in the pre-detection zone. Solid orange means in the microwave zone. Solid red in the second row of AIR beams. And flashing red in the first row of AIR beams. And finally, we mentioned earlier the microwave radar field detects both vehicles and pedestrians. If it detects people, it will stay closed, saving energy, and directs them to either use a pedestrian entrance or ring our doorbell to let the lads know someone is here. <laughs> Do we really have that set up of our doorbell? <laughs> well, that about covers the main points of the new Helios 2T. There was a lot covered here, so if you have any questions, especially technical ones, be sure to call us and we'll be happy to provide more information and support, including whether Helios 2T is right for your specific application. You can email sales at interaccess.co.uk or call 01691 655 150 for more info. And of course, we are online. Uh, visit our website to find out more details on Helios 2T or find us on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Remember, Helios is user-friendly, flexible, and energy-saving, perfect for today's industrial doors. Another video done, Becca. Another one done. See you next video. See you next video. <laughs>